The Proteas polishing their skills and trying different combinations. They played a practice match against each other, giving the under-19 players an opportunity to showcase their talent. The coaching staff believe the upcoming tournament will inspire young women to take up the sport of cricket. What has been exciting is the youngsters coming in, especially on the 19s. So we could uh, expose and incorporate them into the group. Uh, they've ad adapted very well, to my surprise, and they kept up with the intensity, which is good. It will help them in the long run. Yes, overall, the last three days have been very good with our preparation, especially now that we're coming to one of the World Cup venues where we could train and prepare and for most of the inland players now to also be exposed to coastal conditions. The Proteas lost to England in the semi-finals of the ODI World Cup area this year. And these players are now fighting for positions. No, it's good conditions in St George's Park. Um, the sun is out today, which we didn't have the, the first couple of days. So very excited to be out and about and playing some matches. Look, I think it's been good. It's been a good few days. Um, the weather didn't always play its part, but we kind of did what we could um, with what was handed to us. So um, it's, the girls are happy, excited to be here. We have a lot of youngsters around the group um, since our, some of our big players are over in Australia. Um, so the youngsters bring uh, good energy. They bring um, a new uh, look outlook on life. So it's nice to have the youngsters around, around the camp. The squad will have another camp in Islanda next month. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Kabecha in the Eastern Cape.